All right, guys, our time in Panama and Coronado has come to an end. But before we go, we've got something planned that we've wanted to do since we've been in Panama, so we're so excited for that. But before we get into that, we are actually staying at a cool hotel in Coronado for the weekend. So let's go check that out. Funny thing about love is you never really know when it's coming. But you better believe you'll know when it's there. <laughs> True story. So we just got a plate of mangoes from the owner and they are so good and they're all different kind of mangoes. We have three different kinds. We have these small ones and these ones are very, they remind me of like nectar, you said nectarines or like a peach almost. Peachy, yeah. Whoa. Which one's your favorite? I think I like the little round ones. Me too. These ones are really good. They're all good but. These long ones, I like those ones. I was never a mango fan. Yeah. But I really don't like mangoes. Yeah, I was never big into mangoes myself. But here at Cast as well, they've actually got a few trees all around the property with different flavors and different, mm -hmm. I guess, species of species. species? <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> um, variety, I would say. No. Type species just sounds. But what is it called? <laughs> it's not species. <laughs> It's type? Is it a type of like, yeah, think of the type of, the type of apple. It's like a... Yeah, what? I would probably, like, I'm not very scientific-y. <laughs> Clearly. I'm more of a creative soul. More of a creative soul. You know. Hence this channel. And if you're liking it, smash that like button, then it's rough. Yay. It's terrible English accent. Absolutely dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. <laughs> they have a big shared kitchen which is under the big patio. We do spend a lot of time out here because we do work full time online still, so we do need a reliable internet connection. You can get breakfast served and you can also cook your own meals for lunch and dinner. Now, if you're looking for a place to dine out where you're staying here, just down the street is Picasso's. It is a great place to eat. We absolutely love it on a Friday and Saturday night. They got good food, great service, and great entertainment. <laughs> I mixed it up! <laughs> Every time we've come to Picasso's, it has been a live band. But tonight we have karaoke and we are so excited. It is so fun. Yeah, it seems to be the life of Coronado yeah. here at Picasso. And the owners are the life of the party. Yeah. They get up, they dance with you, it they'll come so join fun. you at your table, say hello. There's yeah. always something going on here. Like we said, usually it's live music. Mm -hmm. Tonight it's karaoke. Some nights they have trivia night. They have an amazing yeah. menu. We love the food here. The service is amazing. Strongly suggest coming down. And we're being cut off by yet another yeah. song. Let's go! <laughs> Today we're surfing! <laughs> Alright guys, we just got to El Palma, El Palma, El Palma, <laughs> and this is a popular surfing beach, especially for beginners. As you can see behind us, there is a bunch of people learning how to surf. Kyle, are you nervous? A little bit. 
that. A little bit? Not so much nervous, I just want it to go well. Do you think you're gonna be able to stand up? <laughs> I've never done this before, so I really don't think so. Much. So this is Kyle's first time surfing. Yeah, we're just trying to get this GoPro rigged up so we can capture the experience. <laughs> So this is going to be exciting. Hopefully I can stand up. We'll see. I've only surfed one time in Bali, so hopefully I can stand up. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Palmar Beach. It's a bit of a rainy day today, but we're still out trying to enjoy oh, these yeah. waves. Maybe a better day for the waves, Maybe eh? Better. Maybe a better day for the waves because of that. But we're gonna take you with us, so let's get to it. time surfing this has been such a great experience only gotten up once but hopefully i can do a couple more i think kyle's a bit better than me today are you having fun yeah. <laughs> awesome day how about you so fun awesome thanks again thanks so much okay, enjoy the rest of your trip are you back in front of the food? Awesome, thank you so much Ricardo, we had a great time with you. It was another day like in Spoga Island where we looked out the window and it was a bit, a bit cloudy, a bit rainy, not really what we were hoping for but... It turned into such a great day, like there's so many people say you almost don't want the sun so much. Yeah. Because it beats down on you, you burn. This kind of weather is perfect, so hot, the sun's not like in your face. We didn't have the best swells and Surfing water that we had hoped for was a little bit toppier than supposedly we want, but we had a good time. And hey, if it was challenging, we, I think we took the challenge. I think so too. I think we aced it. We aced it. Mm. We aced it. Awesome. Well, I think we're probably going to go back to the hotel. Yeah, now. back to Casa Swell. Going back to Casa Swell. We've got a really cool dinner planned for tonight. So we're going to head back there right now. We'll catch you over there. Bye. Bye. Guys, what a day. It was so good. We just finished surfing and it was so fun. I think you did really good. I, I, hey, I'm surprised that either of us were able to stand up. <laughs> we weren't really expecting to do that great. And I'm not the biggest fan of salt water by any means. <laughs> but hey, when we're doing a fun activity, I can tend to look past all that and just have a good time. He and, rocked it. And we definitely did that today. Yeah. But hey, there's no better way to end the day than with a barbecue. <laughs> In fact, here at Casa Suel, they have this really cool, authentic Argentinian barbecue. Tonight, we've got this big, thick piece of beef mm. grilling back there with some jalapeno poppers, mm. or as Buddy just said, Texas turtles. Texas turtles? Texas turtle eggs. <laughs> Texas turtle eggs. So we're really excited for dinner here tonight. We've got this really cool lit up outdoor kitchen and patio, a pool table. Yeah. And the cool thing about this place is it's very communal. Yes. Like we were staying in a condo complex that was really nice, but at the same time, you didn't have that community feel. It's really nice to connect with some people. Hey, we respect the fact that we're in a Spanish speaking country. Yeah but it's nice to be around some people Definitely. that speak English and have a conversation. Yeah. No, I completely agree. I was actually just gonna chirp in and say that. Chirp in, you like that? Chirp in. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that, so here you can choose to go out if you do want to, and you can order in, but people cook together, they enjoy each other, they're having drinks, playing pool. This is a really good get together, have a good laugh, and I really like that. Especially yeah. when you're in a condo, just me and you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another part of the communal feel is the fact that Jay and Ava, they both know the area so well. So they're very helpful if you're trying to find like a restaurant or a bar or 
certain service or maybe just a certain excursion. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're looking for a specific activity, something to do. They know it all around yeah. here and they make sure you get there safely, effectively, yeah. cost effectively. So We're actually staying with a couple right now from Texas and they actually want to move here. And so they've been staying here for a few days, learning the area and you can actually, Jay can get you in touch with real estate agents. So it's really good if you're just learning you know, you want to find if you want to live on the beach or if you want to live in the city. It's really cool. It's awesome. But hey, we'll make sure to put their links to their website mm -hmm. and some booking web links in the description down below. Yeah. So if you're interested, make sure to look after that. But I think it's time to dig into some food here. We're so. hungry. We're hungry. <laughs> so let's get to it. Oh, guys, we had such a great day today. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the dinner was great, the surfing was great, the company was even better, and we actually finished the night off with a really awesome like grilled pineapple dessert. It was sweet, but also a healthy alternative. Had the rum dessert. and the sugar. Really good. Yeah, it was really, really good for sure. But it has been a long day, so I think we're gonna call it a night here. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> time to go to bed, time to put the camera away, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, guys, our time in Panama has come to an end, and we had such a good time. But the adventure does not stop. We are going to Costa Rica! We're super excited. We've had a great time in Panama, but it's time to continue the adventures onward and upward into Costa Rica. We've actually been doing a bit of research on how to get there and it seems like the bus route is the most budget friendly and you know us, that's the way we like to go, but it seems like we're gonna need to take four or five different buses through Panama, actually walk across a bridge mm -hmm. over the border into Costa Rica and then another bus from there to our new place, but you can't really find much information yeah. online, so we're gonna document the whole process and hopefully that helps you if you plan to make the same trip. That'll be a video that comes out next week, so make sure to like this video if you found it entertaining and inform informational. Hit subscribe if you wanna to continue to follow our journey through Costa Rica and beyond, and ring-a-ding-ding-dong that bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. And until next time, bye! bye. Absolute, what's it called? Puffy Kosh? What's it called? I have no idea. You know the one I'm talking about. I'm British and I don't even know what you're talking about. If you know, comment down below. It's absolutely Kosh. No. Puppy Kosh. Puppy Kosh? Puppy something. <laughs> oh, they got the beats going. No, that's good. That's fine. Mm.